This final wrap-up lesson in the Character Development Unit was one period long, so 45 minutes, and it's designed as a whole class discussion. We began by saying, we're finishing the unit, but we're never finished thinking about our character and how our character is developing. We told the students that every year at school, they will be expected to take on more and more responsibility for themselves and for others, to have more self-control, and to be more kind and helpful. Even as adults, we work on these things all the time, trying every day to be a better person. The character is not a fixed thing. It's always developing and we're always working on it. We continued saying, the questions we've been reflecting on will be questions you should keep asking yourself for the rest of your life. We didn't stop and reflect on these any further at this point. Then we presented a little poem and we spent some time on it. The students read aloud as each line appeared. Watch your thoughts for they become words. Watch your words for they become actions. Watch your actions for they become habits. Watch your habits for they become your character. Watch your character for it becomes your destiny. And we asked the class what this all means and we had a very lively discussion on it. You might also find it useful to use the metaphors of head, hand, and heart, where the head represents thoughts and assumptions, the hand represents actions and behaviors, and the heart represents feelings and motivations. And all of that defines your character. Then we ask the class, what does destiny mean? How is destiny related to our character? Or how does our character influence our destiny? We weren't looking for any particular answer here, just to drive home the more general point that character is central to one's whole life and that character development is a lifelong endeavor. I did worry that all of the self-reflection might cause the students to confront things about themselves that are difficult. So I wanted to address that. We said, you are in the early stages of learning, growing and developing your character. You're going to make loads of mistakes. We all do, even grown-ups. But there are people who care about you and who want to help you continue to develop. There's two points we wanted to make here. Firstly, we told them to listen to the corrections that others offer, that feedback is an opportunity for learning and developing. Sometimes the behavior changes are going to be easy for you to make, and sometimes they're going to require a lot of work and over a long period of time. And that's okay, as long as you keep trying and keep working at it. And secondly, that they should ask for help, suggestions, and ideas. Don't be afraid to tell someone when things get too hard for you to manage on your own. That's a sign of maturity, and it demonstrates courage, responsibility, and honesty. Good character traits, we reminded them. Pick someone you trust to be kind and respectful and to get help when you need it. And then we asked, who are some of the people you can ask for help? And of course, they said parents, grandparents, teachers, friends, even siblings. To reinforce the ongoing nature of character development, we projected to the next school year and we asked, what character traits will be most important in grade five? Our class was grade four. And then we had some follow-up questions. Why is that? How do these traits compare to our school or class values and to our list of traits from the Admirable People lesson? What do these traits look like in school and at home? How might we work on these as a class in preparation for next year? And we had a lively discussion on all of this. To end the unit, we asked for feedback. Bullying, admirable people, or my story? Which lesson was the most helpful for your character development and why? Reflecting, brainstorming, posters, skits, or talking circle? Which activity was the most helpful for practicing good character traits and why? Then we hung up their admirable people posters and we made sure all the worksheets were accounted for and placed in their folders. The folders were sent home for sharing with family. And that ends the unit. I hope this was helpful to you and I would truly love to hear from you if you try any of this.